Hello, everybody. It's PT Daily Time once again. Hope you've had a good day. Hope you enjoyed some of that sunshine. I'm going to talk today about pastors and churches. And the verse I want to read for you comes from 2 Timothy 2, verse 1. Paul, the pastor, talking to Timothy, the pastor, and he says, So then, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. This week, I've read two articles about pastors across the U.S. Uh, who are just exhausted and spread thin because of the last 14 months and what we've all been through. And some of these pastors are resigning. They're leaving their churches. And I read the story about a, a pastor by the name of Brian Cox who said that uh, it felt like a wrecking ball had hit his church, the trifecta of the, the COVID-19 pandemic of uh, the 2020 election, of all the racial issues. Uh, when they shut down the church at the early stages of the pandemic, people left in protest. More people left when they opened back up and required masks. When he and a local pastor who happened to be black preached a sermon together on Sunday and said, yes, black lives matter, that created just even more turmoil. And, uh, and so finally, he and his wife just got to that place where they are so exhausted. Two weeks ago, they handed in their resignation. That story is being repeated over and over again. Four things I want to say today. Number one, no one here, myself or Nick or Joshua, are planning to resign. I want everybody to hear that. No one, me, Joshua, Nick, we're not planning to resign, even though we have experienced some of those frustrations, some of those situations here over the last year that have been trying, that have been exhausting. But thanks be to God, uh, by his grace, and I mean that seriously, by his grace and by your support, we're still standing, and we don't take that for granted. And then number two, churches are hard enough to pastor uh, in the best of times, and and before you add a pandemic and everything of 2020 on top of that. So for instance, uh, we're a church of about 450 people. When you put us all together, we have different backgrounds and ages and experiences, education, baggage, sin, problems, uh, theology, views of how we think the church should go. You put all of us together like that and it's just a recipe for frustration and conflict in the best of times. And then what's happened in the last year, you've added a whole new layer of items that are separating and dividing people, like the pandemic, like masks, like vaccinations, race, politics, the role of government, and so on. Uh, it can be exhausting to try to keep up with all of that. That's number two. Number three, then, pastors and people, pastors and churches, we need, we need to be patient and kind and understanding and loving toward one another. Uh, in the midst of our disagreements. We need to be committed to practice, we need to be committed to, uh, to agree to disagree with one another in our differences uh, versus separating from one another. And so I hope that we'll be able to do that, that we'll be known for our practice of love rather than our failure of love. And then number four, pastors need encouragement. Pastors need prayer, no matter who they are, no matter where they are, no matter what kind or size of church uh, they, they, they pastor. And I feel very strongly that we're teammates. We're, we're in this together, pastor and people, people and pastor. And uh, But often it doesn't feel that way. And I've talked to pastors in our community of late, and they feel attacked. They feel tired. They feel weary. And um, that's kind of the, the time that we're living in right now. I mean, whoever imagined a day when people would leave a church over a mask, either having to wear a mask or not having masks required. But that's the day, that's the time uh, in which we're living right now. And uh, so I pray that we'll be able to rally around the main thing. And the main thing is Jesus and the gospel and not let these secondary things divide us. And so I encourage you to pray for pastors, pray for us, pray for pastors in our community, pastors around the country, and uh, let's make a difference together uh, as we continue to go through this crazy time. I wanna pray. Dear Jesus, bring us together, uphold us, uplift us. Help us to overcome our differences, 
Help us to be known by our practice of love rather than our failure of love. Give strength, patience, steadfastness, and hope to all of us today and every day. Amen. Thanks for watching. Until next time, God bless.